Good afternoon again. Today we're going to discuss the um, genesis so far of what we're calling the campus development and redevelopment projects or program. As everybody has heard, because this is nothing new, um, there has been a long process of both unofficial and official work on projects for planning for BUC. What we're going to be presenting today is by no means exhaustive. In fact, there are very large gaps that will be filled in as time goes by. And they'll be filled in through the efforts and goodwill of everybody in this sanctuary, including those who aren't. Um, we'd like to start with a reading of the um, covenant. So, next slide, please. Say it together. About program. However, what we're talking about today is 
is an organism with a lot of moving parts. Um, and the parts of the organism are still being defined. We have a uh, group of three wise members of the church who are working together with the program council and with um, the religious education uh, uh, employees and um, members of, who are involved with religious education to, um, among other interests, to further define how we can improve our church in ways that benefit our program, that will benefit our members, our youth, and over time, or even immediately, benefit the community of which we are a part. Um, these are all, again, parts of this large organism that we've been building. We can't attack all of them today. But you'll be hearing a lot more of this as we go along through the summer and through the fall. So with that, let's go to the next slide, please. Maintenance and rehabilitation, next slide. Um, over the year that I've been a member of the Board of Trustees, and I know well before I was a member, there have been people and uh, or committees that have tried to define what it is that we need to do to bring our church to uh, a safe and functional level. Um, and these are just ten projects that are spiraled on the next slide. These are not listed necessarily in the priority in which they will be done. However, they include such things... We'll go back a slide, please. Can you go back? Yeah, takes a second. The foyer roof and skylights are sorely in need of replacement. Uh, as John Hammer brought up yesterday as we were meeting at my house to discuss this presentation, the foyer was originally an open space. Uh, it was designed, or it was not designed to have a roof, and the roof that it has has a lot of flaws. Um, it needs to be replaced. There's water coming in, um, and it can be, it, it needs to be fixed. We estimate the cost of that to be between thirty dollars and $50,000. These are estimated costs. These are estimated costs and not firm costs, because they're really design expenses, and things may well end up being less expensive. Um, the Commons Hallway, or the Connector, this is something about which we people have discussed um, replacing, but even recently I'll just let you know that um, there's been talk in the community about replacing the entire structure, the entire connector, with a functional room that would serve uh, as a meeting place for youth as well as other functions. And that's actually something that's just come in, kind of over the transom, if you will, to be discussed. So these are the kind of things that we'll be working on. Resurfacing the parking lot. The parking lot is, of course, a travesty. It's a risk. We've had people fall in the parking lot. And you know, we, we have pictures of very small cars falling into potholes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also not particularly, um, it, it doesn't really uh, do much for our environment. So the discussion has been about replacing that surface with a porous surface that will allow um, the replenishment of groundwater. There's also been recent discussion about, as we replace it, adding a horizontal ground loop uh, system infrastructure for a larger use of um, ground source heating and cooling. Again, these are things that are out there and orbiting right now to be discussed in more detail. Um, repairing exterior walkways. Up upgrading the exterior and interior lighting. Next slide. Uh, renovating the foyer and social hall restrooms. You know, for example, putting in low water use uh, toilets and so on. Uh, upgrading and replacing our chairs and tables that are used in the social hall. Establishing a capital expense fund. This is very important. And an area of real interest to the Green Sanctuary Committee, as well as many, many people in this church, is making is putting on our are putting our church on a more um, ecologically sound, a more environmentally aware footing, as well as hopefully reducing uh, expenses by adding uh, alternative energy sources. 
These are things that are really in the relative, part of it at least is in a, is in a relatively advanced stage of planning. Other parts have yet to be planned. So these are the 10 things that we've so far considered. Again, this is not an exhaustive list, nor is it a prioritized list. Yesterday we met and we did give some priorities to some of these projects, and we'll discuss those in a moment. But uh, next slide, please. 